Six years after Sam Raimi's original horror classic, we get a sequel that most consider to be a soft remake with Evil Dead 2. The lone survivor of an onslaught of flesh-possessing spirits holds up in a cabin with a group of strangers while the demons continue their attack. Sam Raimi returns to direct this even crazier sequel. The original Evil Dead is very much just a straightforward horror film. The Evil Dead 2 introduces tons of slapstick comedy as well as amps up the amount of gore that we see. There is tons and tons of schlocky gore here and it is absolutely wild. Overall, Evil Dead 2 is bigger on every level, but for me, that doesn't necessarily mean it's better. Sam Raimi does a great job here. He delivers something wildly new while still feels like it belongs in the Evil Dead universe that he had set up with that original film, even though it does technically reinvent, recreate certain things from that first film in a really kind of an odd way. I still think it works overall. And again, Sam Raimi does a wonderful job at just continuing this franchise and exploring more of this world. This time around, the characters give off the same sort of tone that I got from the characters from the original Evil Dead, even if they are a completely different group of characters other than Linda and Ash. And I will say Ash is infinitely more groovy in this installment. But as for the actual group of characters, I would say I think the original group of characters is a little bit more memorable. That being said, this version of Ash Williams is infinitely more entertaining and intriguing than anybody in that first film. Due to legality issues and New Line not allowing Evil Dead 1981 footage to be used in the opening of the sequel, Sam Raimi had to essentially shoot a recap of the first film with just Ash and his girlfriend Linda compared to the group of five arriving in the original. Every individual story element or beat within this film seems to be crazier than the last. The pure amount of subversion in this film alone is enough to make it one of the most memorable horror films of all time. All the horror elements accompanied by the over-the-top blood and schlocky deadite creature design work perfectly and truly elevate this film. When it comes to the visuals, this film looks way better than the original, the practical effects are better, everything just looks way, way cleaner. The portal in the end looks great, the costume design is really efficient as well, and I would say that the continuity between the amount of blood used in the film and just just being able to tell where everything is, they did a really, really good job with all of the continuity, all of the layout, the, the geography of the cabin, even though we, we were used to it from the original film, but I still think they did a fantastic job. From the Deadeye audio, to the breaking down of the cabin, to the sounds of the kills on and off screen, everything sounds great. Moving on to my final thoughts for Evil Dead 2, I will say right out the gate, the original Evil Dead will always remain slightly scarier to me, and that's going to be the film that I'm a little bit drawn to more than this. This film is a fantastic horror sequel, and the reason it shines is due to its practical effects. The film looks great, it's fun, and I'm not surprised that it's many people's favorite entry into the franchise. But that's it, those are my thoughts for Evil Dead 2. Please stick around for my other reviews of the Evil Dead films leading up to the release of Evil Dead Rise. I will say now, I tried watching Ash vs. Evil Dead and I couldn't quite get into it. I did watch all of season one. I will have a review for that. Yeah, I got a lot to say about that show. So stick around for my reviews for Army of Darkness, Ash vs. Evil Dead, the Evil Dead 2013 remake, as well as Evil Dead Rise when it officially releases as well as my original Evil Dead review, which is out now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Carter, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.